Okay, now can you put my comments on the screen? No. <laughs> He's a mess over here. I'm sorry, we're late. We were having some technical difficulties. <laughs> if you do not see live somewhere along the top of your screen, we are no longer live and you're watching a recorded video, so please don't get angry if I don't respond. You can shop the replay. All you have to do is put... You have to take a screenshot of the pair of leggings you want or send us the size, number, print name, and your email in privately to the page. <sighs> and for my regular customers, I'm sorry that I'm 14 minutes late, but Chuck Daddy was struggling. My computers were fighting. He was, he was in a fight with a laptop. Technology um, was against me. My face hurts. <laughs> Guys, seriously. Either way. So, hi. Welcome. So, the comments up so far uh, that they haven't broadcast through uh, Sandy Rainey says hi, and Ariel Brown is watching for the mall. Hello and hello. How's the mall going? Why aren't they going up there? Because nobody's commented since. Oh, since you opened it. Are you guys napping? Is today a napping show? You guys are starting to make me wonder if I should have just taken these days off. So they're all napping. <laughs> yes, twenty dollars, Lizzie. <laughs> twenty, twenty, twenty. Yeah. So Shook Daddy was struggling with technology. I went to sleep with my contacts in, which made my left eye really angry. Um, then Shook Daddy wasn't sure we were going to be able to run the camera. So then we were trying to figure out uh, how to or get onto the iPad. It was crazy. True, true, Ariel. It's because everybody's at work. We're doing the rest of our Christmas shopping this evening. I roped Sam into it. She's gonna babysit. Ooh. Hello, Miss Mary. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it was an interesting start today. Oh, thank you, Miss Sandy. You rock, sister. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's just been crazy this morning. And then Chuck Daddy was like, why was the door locked when I came in? And I was like, well, Scared the Hobo was going to steal Will. So, if I couldn't be on the side of the office, I wanted the door locked. Makes sense, right? Mary, you work downtown. There's just hobos everywhere. They may steal a baby. Thank you, thank you, Joan. Me either, Sandy, and they are so cute. You're going to love them so, so much. Like, for real. Like, they're definitely in my top ten now. My top ten is constantly changing, but they're in my top ten right now. They'll probably stay there with my skeleton cat. You're just going to see me wearing sloth, winter sloths in July. It's going to happen. Today I'm wearing robots. Because I haven't worn these in a very long time. Are you guys ready for Christmas? 
Get excited. Let's let's get some excitement going in here today. You guys are so quiet. I feel like we're napping. We gotta get moving. Get jamming. Get grooving. Shake your booty. Come on, come on, come on. Just tiny. Are my comments stuck? Can they get stuck on this thing? There we go. No, it's okay. I was just trying to figure it out. Jay! Yeah, you guys are sleeping. Come on! Wake your faces up! I don't want to talk to myself. I'm almost ready for Christmas. I have to go get some stocking stuffers. So I'll take any suggestions for stocking stuffers for toddlers. Ariel, are you wearing a pair of bar leggings at the show? You should be. Ariel says, not gonna lie, there's a Lula rep here and her leggings aren't even as soft as yours. Those poor Lula girls. I feel nothing but guilt for those Lula girls. Just pure sympathy. Poor things. But yeah, I'll take any ideas for stocking stuffers for children under five. Any of them. Yep. All right. So I'm just going to talk to myself. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but definitely. I have to get some small stuff to put in stockings. I definitely need to get candy today. That's what I asked. Nobody's answering me. No. Ariel's comments are coming through. Wearing other pants with pockets, but Prosecco? Was that supposed to be definitely going to wear your leggings? Because I'm not really sure what Prosecco gonna wear your leggings means. <laughs> and what did you type that autocorrected to Prosecco? For real though, what did you type? I don't know, I can see Ariel's comments. Am I not seeing other people's comments? I just feel like everybody's being really quiet. It's a silent day. My phone keeps vibrating. <laughs> Oh, guys, it is one of those days. Have you guys ever had one of those days? I feel like I have to be missing some comments or something because, I mean, it's quiet in here sometimes. It's really quiet. Hi, Leah! What is everybody getting their kids? Anybody get anything fun? Anything you're excited to see them open? I'm definitely excited to get the roaring thing out of mom's closet. Every time I wear my outfit I got from you, right? Oh, I love that outfit. Yeah, I'm happy you like it though. And I'm happy you get compliments, so that's good. Really good. For real though. They're just being really quiet. How many people are in here? Wow, it's just a quiet day. That was just quiet. Wow. So anyway, Sam is coming to my house when I leave here. He's, he's out having his bit trimmed right now. Like he's getting all trimmed up and ready to go. We're going to take some photos. He's supposed to be bringing some cookies. We'll see. Woo woo, Miss Sandy. Woo woo woo. I know, that Christmas season, man. Stealing everybody's money. Though, to answer everybody's question, we did get... Um, the whole bus, van, transportation thing for Christmas lights figured out yesterday. We are taking a part of us. Hi, Kelly! 
But I'm not sure if it's really a party bus because the seats aren't like facing sideways. It's kind of like a coach bus, like a charter bus. Because the seats are facing forward like bus seats. So it'd be a charter bus, wouldn't it? They call it a party bus, but I mean it's a charter bus. I don't know. They have seatbelts, though. We figured that out. I can buckle the kids' car seats in. That was my main concern, was how do you safely transport children? Right? I'm pretty excited. I think they're going to be pretty excited, too, because I don't think any of them, like, remember being on a bus ever. Because anytime we've done anything with, like, a bus, it's... They were little. I don't think they've ever been on a bus, like where they'd actually like understand what was happening. Because they're too, so we have too many kids to take the Disney shuttle things. <laughs> so we don't try that. There's not enough, there's not enough manpower there. Cause you gotta hold up strollers and. Mm. That's why we tra We either walk or we tram because the I tram has those big carts areas. That's the difference between Disneyland and Disney World though. The Disney World, they've got a bus system that goes between all the parks and all the hotels cause it's spread out yeah. bigger. And their buses are equipped to stroller. Stroller, stroller on. Onto. Yeah. yeah, Disney. But I, don't think, I don't think you're allowed to leave a kid in the stroller. Well, you're not allowed to leave a kid in the stroller on a tram either. You have to pull them out and sit them in your lap. But then you don't have to collapse the stroller. So you're not trying to hold your kid, collapse the stroller, lift the stroller, put the no. stroller on the tram. That's too much. When you got two double strollers, you struggle. You just struggle with life. I definitely struggle with life, and I was definitely not going to do that. So, um, this is going to be the first time I've ever on a bus, and I'm pretty excited. And I'm kind of interested to see what they think of being on a bus. But I think it's going to be pretty cool because everybody that they like and love is going to be on said bus. The only awkward part that I did not think through, I'll have to talk to you about later, because I totally did something and didn't think it through. Yeah. Chelsea Brady. Anyway, are we ready to get started? You guys are so quiet today. Is there anybody that needs to see a particular size? <laughs> anyway, so what are some things you think I should put in their stocking? I was always Mr. Candy. Yeah. yeah. No. I was thinking we get some like Hot Wheels. Oranges. Oranges. They like those chocolate oranges. I may get one of those and put those in their stocking. They totally dig that whole idea. They loved it. I bought one and split it between all of us. I'll they were just. One okay. Hi, Melissa. Since I'm just gonna spend the next thirty minutes talking to myself. Yeah, yeah. It was really like 30 minutes after so. Anyway, so I'm thinking like Hot Wheels. And maybe like the little containers of Play-Doh. Like the like yeah. little disc shaped ones. Because those would be small enough to fit. I think big ones would be too much. But little ones would be like the party size ones. I just don't know what else. Dude, shopping for that kind of stuff is different now. Because you don't have the Katie toys or anything like that. Toys or like I'm at Target or Walmart. Right, but even that's... Service. Kind of limited in selection. But you can also, you know, you can check, don't uh, don't forget you've got like lots and DDs and big lots. It's got, oh. like, they've got the section of small items. I didn't think about that either. <clears throat> Ooh, toothbrush kit. That'd be kind of cute. Like soaps and stuff too. That's a good idea. Thank you, Melissa. They like toothbrushes. They're definitely toothbrush children, which makes no sense because Luna had cavities. And she's like a total toothbrush kid. Do you think they're old enough for slinkies? Do you feel like that would lead to confusion? What's the age limit on a slinky? I wonder. Cause I mean, I know they're too young for yo-yos, but I guess slinkies would be easy. 
we can find metal ones. I feel like they break the plastic ones fairly fast. Oh, no bouncy balls, Melissa. No bouncy balls in the house. We don't allow bouncy balls. I have kids with um, really short timber fuses, and uh, somebody would get, yeah, somebody would get pegged with one of those little bouncy balls. Yeah, so I can get sleekies for the older ones. It's a good idea. I'm sure they find that interesting. Yeah, that's what I have to do today. I, I'm going to go do photos for Santa, and then... And they go shopping. And I'm like, Bleh. I really don't like shopping this close to Christmas. My poor husband took my kids to Target the other day to get milk, and it was just crazy. Glow sticks? That's kind of a cool idea. They like to do glow stick baths. So that's probably a cool idea. I go to like the Dollar Tree to get glow sticks, huh? I like how Melissa's participating. Me and Melissa are having conversations by ourselves. Glow sticks, though. I was thinking maybe like bath paint, but the last time they had bath paint, like it took forever for me to get off the wall. Like it did not come off as easy as I expected it to. Mini books, maybe. Let's see what I can find. We, we definitely have quite a library. Because I. That's my one thing that I tell people to buy them for like their birthdays and stuff is books. No, I like your ideas. Keep them rolling. It's not like anybody else is talking, so. <laughs> Keep throwing them out there. Helps me collect ideas so that I know what I'm looking for when I go to the store. Chalk? Like for outside? Yeah. And I was thinking, like, they have those surprise pack things that, like, you get the little figurines out of. I was thinking maybe I'd get a couple of those. Or they have the miniature Hatchimal ones. Well, Luna's totally been into those. So maybe I'll buy a pack of those. I don't know. It was so much easier when you could just buy a bath toys and they would be happy. Will is sleeping good today. And we're just talking to ourselves, Miss Phyllis. Well, really, I'm talking to Melissa. Because <laughs> nobody else is talking. Everybody's so quiet. This is a quiet Wednesday. I expected it to be this quiet closer to Christmas, but I guess, like, this is close to Christmas. Wah, wah, wah. Mini coloring books with minis. Monogrammed cups. Maybe. Where are we going to get monogrammed cups this late, though? It would be, it would be custom at that point. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to, yeah, unless we were doing them here. Vinyl, but I think the kids probably picked They the pick at it. Off. They picked off the vinyl from their Disney cups. So we'd have to etch it, and I don't know if we'd have enough time to pull that together. That's a lot and of time. That would be glass at this point, because I don't think the etching cream would work on plastic. And they can't but, have glass no. cups. <laughs> I have a sandbox so we could we could etch it that way, but I don't have that available right now. Yeah, we we don't we don't give glass cups to children. Getting your grandkids craft kits. Yeah, the little animals that grow in the water, Melissa, totally work well unless you have impatient children like mine. And then they poke them and then those little things really don't stand up well to being poked. Did you know that? That's why I buy them those towels that grow in water, because those are a little more indestructible. Okay, so where do you buy mini coloring books? You guys keep saying mini coloring. Where do you buy a mini coloring book? Because, like, I buy file size coloring books, but those are hard to fit into a stocking. We're not really shopping today. We're just hanging out. <laughs> just looking for Christmas. Not shopping today. We're just for the next... 30 minutes just talk to each other. Ooh, silly putty gets stuck in stuff though, Mary. I just barely started allowing Play-Doh once I found out that they changed the formula to not stick in the carpet. I'm really not sure if I'm 
down with the silly putty. I feel like the silly putty gets stuck. It's okay, Miss Kelly. We're not moving very fast. Dollar store, Walmart. Okay, so I'll look at those places. I'll definitely look. We're going to all of those places today. It's going to be crazy. But we won't have any kids except for Will, so it'll be fast. Thank you, Miss Kelly. All right, is there anybody? Whew, sorry for the yawning. Anybody that needs to see any of the sizes? I'm going to do a quick run through so that if anybody needs to shop the replay, but if there's anybody that needs to see a specific size that is here currently, we'll run through that size first. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hit the Dollar Tree. I just don't like to buy them, like, no offense to people who shop at the Dollar Tree, but like the cheapy Dollar Tree toys because my kids break them very quickly. They would last all of like a minute and a half in our house. Kids. But that's where I'm going to go to get their little towels because they enjoy those things. All right, well, I'm going to do a quick run through really quick so that if anybody needs to shop the replay, they will be able to do so. And if you guys see anything, those of you that are here, you know, just got to put solo the number and send in your email. We've got 26 people watching. And it's just silent? Yes. Silent night. This is quiet today. All right, so sold number, if I call I your name. On, this dropped out. Why does this happen every freaking time? <laughs> I don't know. To make me look crazy. Yeah, that way. No, there we go. Let's come back in now. So people talk about dollar store for stocking stoppers. Uh, we have your extra curvy, curvy. Oh yeah, see, I didn't see curvy, any of that. Extra curvy, extra curvy, extra curvy's the winner. I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, they're probably thinking, why is this chick just sitting there? She asked us, and it's just sitting right. down. Right. It's not my fault. I couldn't see you. No, yeah, no. This this laptop drops the network every time I move it from one side of the office to the other, and I don't know why. Bye, Phyllis. I hope you enjoy your teeth cleaning. Okay, so sold the number, send me your email when I call your name, 24 hours to pay your invoice. If you need to shop the replay, all you have to do is send us a screenshot of the pair of leggings or the size name of the legging, the number, and your email, and we can get all that. You need more web shirts. Crystal, that'll be later this week. Um, and extra curvy was the winner, so we're going to start there. We have one size that fits 0 to 12, curvy that fits 12 to 22, and extra curvy that fits sizes 20 to 30. So extra curvy is up first. We have the sweeping paisley. These are super cute with many, many different colors of tops that you can wear with them. They do have a black background. They are full length. Miss Mary, she already did socks. She did socks Saturday? Saturday. Six, seven, four, eight. Six, seven, four, eight. She had a really big show on Saturday. It was like split in two, right? Yes, we had two separate shows. Yeah. Six, seven, four, eight for the sweeping Paisley. Then we have the Eiffel Tower, extra curvy, size 20 to 30. Oh, Miss Mary, bummer. Full length black background. They have white, light blue, pink, and a very light baby pink Eiffel Towers with hearts mixed throughout. They are a black background full length. These fit sizes 20 to 30. Number is going to be 6629. 6629. Then we have the solid red, extra curvy, size 20 to 30. They are full length as well. Their number is going to be 6941. 
6941. For the extra curvy, size 20 to 30, solid red. 6941. Sugar Skulls on black, extra curvy, size 20 to 30. They are full length. Super cute. These are really, really detailed. Their number is going to be 6676. 6676 six, six for the extra curvy, size 20 to 30. White, well, Sugar Skulls on black. Sugar Skulls on black. And the last of the Extra Curvies are the Green Galaxy Extra Curvy, size 20 to 30. They are full length, super, super cute with green and blue mixtures with the stars. Number is going to be 6817. 6817 for the Extra Curvy, size 20 to 30, Green Galaxy, full length. Six, eight, one, seven. Right. All right, then curvy, we have the charcoal gray floral, right? Super cute. Charcoal gray floral, curvy, size 12 to 22, okay? 12 to 22, charcoal gray floral, super cute orange accents. Absolutely adorable. Number is going to be 6929. 6929 for the charcoal gray, right, Miss Shelly? For reals. Okay, 6929. Then we have the Eiffel Tower and Curvy as well. These are going to fit sizes 12 to 22. Their number is going to be 6923. 6923 for the Eiffel Tower, Curvy, size 12 to 22. Six, nine, two, three. Then we have the Curvy Solid Teal, size 12 to 22. They are full length. Melissa Gilametti on two, 6923. You got it, Melissa. 6928 is going to be the number for the Solid Teal, 6928. Then we have the Sugar Skulls on Black in the Curvy, size 12 to 22. They are full length as well. They are on a black background. Their number is going to be 6622. 6622. So what is everybody thinking that whatever gifts you bought who is thinking they got somebody's favorite gift? Like, what do you think is going to be the top gift that you bought this year? Because I'm real thinking it's going to be that dinosaur. That's either going to be a hit or it's going to horrify. Right? I think it may scare Ollie and Brother's going to love it. I bought, I bought one of those robot dinosaurs for my nephew once. It was one of the big expensive ones, but I found it on clearance somewhere. So I bought that. Didn't I'm go over? Horrified. We um, were able to manage to get both of Luna's top things that she wanted. That's something. A PS4, the tablet. Yeah, you have bigger kids, huh, Shelly? <laughs> My kids aren't tablet friendly yet. All right, then we have the fall foliage, which I think could be year round because, I mean, look at it. It's spring colors and fall colors and winter colors. Like, it's great. Chameleon foliage. 
Okay, they are on an olive green background. They are full length. The number is going to be 6926. 6926. My son's Titanic model, if it ever gets here. Uh-oh. 6926. Is it missing? Your kids are spoiled brats. No, they're not. I got both of Luna's top items this year. Brother only had one top item. And it was just... He said dinosaur. He just used the word dinosaur. He didn't say the live interactive dinosaur. He didn't say like the, the dinosaur. So I just ran with that word. Thought of a dinosaur. And then Tucker just said Elmo. So we got him to tickle me, Elmo. Okay. Elmo. It was about as good as it got. Elmo. Or if you ask him again, he says Peppa. Peppa Pig. And I'm like, video games and clothes. Hello, Miss Kathy. All right, and one size blue moose. These are going to fit sizes 0 to 12. Okay, Bonnie, explain the Ryan's World egg thing. Oh, my God. Please explain this to me. My nephew is all into that. Okay, so I get it. This kid's making millions of dollars. Yes, he is. So that's cool. But, like, what is in the egg? It's like the, the blind bags. That's the big thing for kids, like, kids like first, second grade, that kind of age. I think it's because I don't let my kids watch YouTube. It's the blind bag thing. Like, it started, they started when Maddie, Sam, and Amanda were younger. Um, and they used to go and get, like, these little pouches at the store, and they would open up and get, like, an eraser or a, in a figure. It was stupid. It was something. But it's just like our mystery bag thing. It's kind of... It's six times. I don't know what you get. Something. It's kind of a gamble. And yeah, my nephew's totally into these things. I bought him. I bought him a. a set. Kimberly says junk. <laughs> yeah, essentially, I bought my nephew a set for his birthday a few months ago, and apparently it was like a huge hit. And it was just a mail order. I was like, all right, I got one, and I mailed it off to him. It's like Hatchimals. Even lamer. I was just curious because, like, I know people that are like searching for them because they're sold out everywhere, and like, people were like trying to kill each other on Black Friday. It has a slime, a toy. <laughs> like, Shrek Daddy said, it's a blind bag thing. I, how much did you pay for it, Bonnie? That's my question. <laughs> if you don't mind answering it, they're not stupidly expensive. They're, it's a, it's cheap enough. It's like, and considering the kid's reaction to what you spent, you're like, all right. I need to that. Yeah, see, the Harry Potter thing I get, and for those of you that have kids who like Harry Potter, I don't know if you guys know or not, but um, mm -hmm. Walmart has mystery wands where you buy, I, I think they're like $11 or something, and you get a wand out of it. I don't know. I see them and was like, that's kind of interesting. But I'm also a Harry Potter geek. So I guess it's kind of the same idea. It's like an egg, but instead it's a wand. All right, Blue Moose 6778. They were $64, but I got it half price. Whew. Is that a big egg? 6778. 6778 for the one size 0 to 12 Blue Moose. Must have been a bigger egg. Maybe like Jumbo Christmas that's, eggs? Yeah, that's, that's a lot more than I spent. Jumbo Christmas eggs? Because it was before they got popular? Maybe. Maybe this kid's making millions of dollars selling you guys eggs full of things. I'm really hoping his parents are putting money away, though, and not just blowing through his money. It was probably a, some a manufacturer that does the blind ba blind bag gifts, probably partnered with this Ryan's World because Ryan's got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, they probably contacted him and just have him as the spokesperson for it. Because he's little, he's like Luna's age. All right, solid burgundy, one size zero to twelve. Number is gonna be six seven six four. Six seven six four burgundy. Six seven six four. Yeah, he's like Luna's age. He's little, so the kids make him bank. Let me tell you. Singing his name everywhere now. Um, a mom blog that I follow made fun of the whole idea. Hello, Melissa. Um, yeah, she made fun of the whole idea. She brought toys over to her kid and was like, "Play with these. Play with these while we're live." 
Play. <laughs> you need to be making millions of dollars too. Just play with these toys. Tell me about them. <laughs> Butterfly Garden, one size, zero to 12. They're the size of jumbo eggs people put out for decorations for Easter. Renee Webster, what's 6764? You got it, Renee. Which one is 6764? Burgundy. The burgundy. All right, Butterfly Garden, one size, zero to 12, black background. Number is 6632. 6632. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, I wouldn't pay full price either. I didn't pay full price for the Hatchimal that we got. Like, I'm not. That's crazy. <laughs> Which, by the way, for those of you that do have children, since you guys are all chatting with me today, have you guys gotten the little Hatchimal things, like the mystery ones that come in like an egg carton shaped thing? Are those cool? What do they have in them? Because the box gives no description. 6632 Renee Webster. You got it, Miss Renee. Solid teal. One size, zero to 12, full length. Number is gonna be 6925. 6925 for the solid teal. One size, zero to 12. 6925. Okay, so what's in them, Melissa? Explain it to me. What are in the little eggs? It's cause I got one of the big ones, but I was looking at the little ones and maybe thinking about splitting the carton and putting like a few in hers and a few in her brothers and a few in Tucker's. For like sorry servers, but what's in the eggs? Are they just little creatures? Are they stuffed creatures? Are they plastic creatures? Because the box gives no info. And I was gonna YouTube it before I left today. They have a purse the shape of poop that's a slime making kit. What that mean? That just you know fell down. Um. So Kathy, a super funny thing though that you're using the poop emoji. So it's right now Tucker's favorite thing is poop. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the whole freaking world. Okay, anything you say to him, he uses the word caca at the end of. I didn't go through this with brother, okay? Brother didn't have that sense of humor. So I'm really unsure of even how to process this sense of humor. They're plastic. Okay, that's good. We like plastic things. Um, I don't even know how to process that sense of humor. I don't. We had Luna, and then, you know, brother didn't do it because, I don't know, and then... Now we have Tucker and I don't even know. I don't get poo poomer. Brother is very polite, so I don't get poo poomer. I don't get it. Hi, April. Huh? It's a boy thing. It's like a penis humor. I don't get that either. Obviously, we should have had more boys or something in our family. But anyway, I know. I think I'm kind of happy, though, that we were all girls. All right, fall foliage, one size, zero to 12, last pair of the day, super cute, olive background. You can totally wear these year round. We're decided we're going to call them the chameleon foliage. I'm going to make Chef Daddy change all the labels. <laughs> super cute. Number is going to be 6919. So I'm totally thinking that I am going to buy them the don't step in it game where it's like dog poop on a little plastic mat and it's like foam dog poop and you're trying to like not step on it and you're blindfolded. I think I'm gonna buy them that. 6919, purely because Tucker thinks poop's funny. And I don't know how else to help with that humor. <laughs> so if anybody has that game, let me know if it's interesting. They're getting into playing games now. I feel like that would be an easy one that they could play by themselves. Because we have to we have to watch them play Candyland because Tucker's a cheater. <laughs> we, we can't freely let them play board games because Tucker cheats. So Tucker's like, I got two yellows and he moves four. And I'm like, Well, can he count? Yes, he can count. All right. All of them can count to 10. He knows what he's doing. Right. <laughs> and you can see, he's being sneaky. He's like, look, yeah, one, two. And he skipped two in the center. And I'm like, excuse me, sir. Back here. Or he'll just immediately jump to Candy Castle. He's like, I'm not gonna play the game. I'm just gonna go to the castle. What? <laughs> or you tell him, pick three cherries off your tree for Hi-Ho Cherio, and he, picks his whole hand of cherries up and drops them in the bucket. And I'm like, that, that is not what you're supposed to be doing either. 
He's crazy. Are they quiet again or am I not seeing things? They're quiet again. Stop being quiet. You're freaking me out. And I think it's broken. What's a pooey pouton? Is that the slime baking kit? I don't know if my kids are old enough to like figure out the slime making kit thing. Sam was talking about wanting to make slime with the kids. I think if it was we like saw a commercial with glow the new glow in the dark Elmer's glue last night, and uh, Sam was talking to Luna about one, whether or not they wanted to do that because they did the starch thing last time. They did the starch thing last time, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they'd get it. I know Oliver wouldn't get it, but maybe maybe the bigger one. Oliver might like playing in it, but. I don't know, because he, he's pretty picky about things getting on his hands. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, he hates whipped cream. And I'm wondering if it's like the texture of whipped cream. But he hates whipped cream. I put whipped he'll cream on his waffles. Chicken. He'll eat buffalo chicken out of the trash. He will eat buffalo chicken out of the trash can. That's what I'm getting Oliver for Christmas. I'm getting him a walking trash can. Anybody have a trash digger? Because I do. We are calling him the trash panda. He needs a shirt with a must supervised, must be supervised logo on the back of it because he's a trash panda. You turn around for 30 seconds and that kid is trying to get something in the trash can. And he knocks the whole trash can over sometimes to get it. He's ridiculous. He's just completely crazy. All right, so if you're just coming in and you need to reshow, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, we're going to chat for a couple more minutes. We're going to do a shoe drawing, and I guess we'll wrap it up because it's been a very quiet day here today. Um, you can always shop the replay. Hello, Ms. Randy Jo. Um, you can always shop the replay. All you have to do is put, all you have to do is message us with the number, the print name, and your email along with the size, or a screenshot of the ones that you're wanting along with the size and your email. Whichever way you want to do it, but you can definitely do it that way. And as long as we have it in stock, we will send you an invoice for it. Hello, Miss Randy. How is your day going today? But yeah, no. So I have to go to Walmart and Target and the Dollar Tree and kind of get like small stuff. And then I have to get Oliver some things because I counted his last night and he's short. But really, he's little, so I really don't know if he's going to realize he's short. I just don't want him to be, like, left not open anything, but I feel like he's going to be slow anyway, so. I don't know. I'm going to grab a couple more things, and then we should be done, hopefully. That's my hope. Another day, another day. I am tired because I got swept into cleaning last night and didn't realize what time it was until my alarm went off to take my meds, and I was like, oh, it's one in the morning. Like, I started cleaning it at 10.30. Like, where did the time go? Poof, poof, poof. But I got, like, half my house clean, so that was pretty good. Though it was one in the morning when I realized. And then I slept with my contacts in. Randy, I was a mess last night. Just a mess. I was just falling apart. But yeah, I'm okay. I'm tired. I have to go do Santa photos and then uh, go shopping. And I don't know about you guys, but I really, really hate Christmas shopping this close to Christmas. And somehow, every year, I forget to get stocking stuff and end up having to go shopping this close to Christmas. How is the Shuck fam fam? Uh, we're all alive. Mom's feeling better. Mom's headache's gone. Which I'm sure she's happy about. No, she's at school. Mom? Mom's headache. Mom's headache is at school? She is. She passed her final, though! Our headache passed her final! I was like, Mom's at school? <laughs> anyway. Our headache passed her final today. So that's exciting. That was pretty cool. We liked it. We enjoyed it. We're happy she passed it. But yeah, no, mom's feeling better. So it's good. How are you feeling? What? He's tired too. You can see it on his face. But he's alright. We're alive. And it's just a very quiet day here. Where's Betty? School has a migraine. And Betty has a migraine now. It's like mom and Betty swapped. 
All right, let's do a Shares win real quick. Shares winner for this quiet, quiet day. Ow. I just yawned all super big. You're freezing? Why are you freezing? Don't freeze. Don Morell, are you here? Don Morell, and have you won in the past 30 days? A young one snaps. Just keep going. I have to turn my heating blanket on high. Kelly, we got my son a heating blanket and he is loving it. No, Miss Candace, we were wrapping up, but I could show you Kirby again if you'd like. Sure, I can do it. Yeah. All right, in the Kirby, we had the charcoal gray floral. That was 6929. Oh man, Miss Kelly. 6929 for the charcoal gray floral. She said yes, and I can't remember. I don't, I don't think you have them. I'll double check. I think I can check. Hang on. Eiffel Tower, 6923. Well, he gets really bad leg pains, Kelly which we're attributing to growing at this point. I mean, we'll see, but uh, he's all uncomfortable. Solid teal, 6928. 6928. Close. I'll let her have it. We'll let you have it. She, she went over 20th. She's off by one day. Oh, she's okay. Sugar Skulls on black, 6622. All right, Miss Dawn, what size leggings do you wear? 6622 for the Sugar Skulls on black. And then fall foliage were the last ones, and they were 6926. 6926. Yeah, poor boy. Poor guy, two nights in a row, was up screaming in the middle of the night because his legs hurt so bad. And I was like, Jesus, we lost terrible record. Six nine two six. Yeah, he woke up screaming about his legs, and I was like, "Man!" And so Betty suggested that we get an electric blanket. So I bought an electric blanket, and so far so good. And he's kind of in love with it. He moves it from his bedroom into his the living room. It's a traveling electric blanket. But electric blankets are expensive. Have you guys bought an electric blanket lately? That was crazy. I didn't, I didn't realize that they were that expensive until we went to buy one, and I was like, wow. That is one pricey blanket. Electric blankets are crazy. Snowflake, extra curvy, size 20 to 30. Miss Dawn is what you are going to be getting. Super, super cute. Full length. Adorb, adorb, adorbs. Her comment just came through. Yeah, for real. So we got him an electric blanket and he likes it, and that's all that matters. But yeah, electric blankets are expensive. Like, I could not even fathom the idea of like somebody buying a king size electric blanket because I was like, I went, uh, they're not that fancy. <laughs> I was looking for your mom for uh, her birthday and they didn't have them out yet. Couldn't buy them. Well, I had to get one at Walmart, and I got a twin size, and it was like 45 bucks mm -hmm. for a twin size blanket. And I was like, it's a twin size blanket. <laughs> I got a twin size. I don't even, we had a, we had a king or queen on our bed. You didn't turn your side on? Control. I never, her side stopped working, just flipped it over, and she left that. I love it. All right. Well, there you go, Ms. Dawn. Make sure we get your email address and your shipping address. 
thanks for those of you that hung out with me today and conversated. I super appreciate it, even on our slow days when you guys just come in to hang. Yes, message the page was done. Um, yeah, not at our Walmart. It was not. It was like a hundred and something. It was creepy. And we were looking at like the basic one, like Sunbeam or something. Like, it wasn't even a fancy one. They had really fancy expensive ones. Hi, Kristen! But either way, I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves for those of you that did hang out. I hope we had a productive conversation and maybe I gave you some ideas because you guys definitely gave me some ideas. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys!